guys, I know what you're thinking because by the time this video comes out, it will probably be after um, the, there's been a few games in the Premier League to kickstart the season. So I'm sorry about that. But at the time of, I'm recording this, I promise you, there have been no games played so far. So my the, the results can't be... Uh, instincted by my predictions because I've made my predi predictions previously to this video so yeah I just want to clear that up just in case you think um, I've done it a bit too late because the games have already started yes I know I've done it a bit late but um, yeah I'm, I've made my predictions ages ago I just needed to record the video but I've been a bit busy so now I'm recording it and I've got my predictions um, but there, are, there haven't been any games yet. But when this video goes up, there will probably have been games played. Anyway, this is these are my Premier League predictions in a, in a table. So what I think the table will look like at the end of the season. I'm going to go from 20th to 1st, uh, work my way from down from the bottom to uh, the top, and why I think, briefly, why I think uh, each team is going to finish in that position. So let's get into it. Right guys, starting in 20th place, so who I think will finish uh, last, bottom of the Premier League season, uh, is Huddersfield. I don't think they have enough quality uh, to remain in the Premier League. They just got promoted through the playoffs, um, but I don't think their team has got enough uh, quality to stay within the Premier League. I think they'll get beaten quite a lot and just not have enough um, there. And the manager, I don't think, is all that. Uh, not very well known and yeah, I don't think they'll do very well this season It's not that I don't like them anything I just can't see them getting anywhere this season in the Premier League. So yeah, they're my 20th place team moving up to 19th I've put Swansea um, Again, they've survived just about the last couple of seasons really hanging around in that relegation zone But this season I think they will finally go down Sigurdsson is still there at the moment, but I think he'll end up moving, whether it's Everton or wherever. He, I don't think he can stay at a club like Swansea with his quality. No offence to Swansea, but he needs to go elsewhere where he can uh, prove his quality to better teams. And without Sigurdsson, I don't think Swansea, uh, again, like Huddersfield, have enough good, high quality players. Um, so they're my second team that I think will go down. Now, taking up the third relegation spot, is Burnley again? Sean Dyche, I think, is a really good manager, but um, yeah, I don't think they have enough to stay up this year again. Uh, I think this is their second, did they? Yeah, I think they came up last year or the two years ago, whatever, I can't remember, but they've been around that relegation zone. But um, they have a good home record to be fair, but away, I just can't, they just don't look like the team that they are at home and if they struggle at home then they've got not got anything going for them so if they struggle at home which they might not but if they do then they're gonna look like getting relegated so they're they're my three teams that I think that I think will get relegated Burnley Swansea Huddersfield now moving on to 17th 16th and 15th I'm gonna do them in little groups 17th I think Brighton a newly promoted team again uh, just come up uh, Chris Hewton, great manager, managed in the Premier League before obviously, so has that experience, but again, I don't think Brighton will, I mean, they'll stay up, I think, but just, they'll be in a big relegation battle, but I think they just have enough, uh, the players, enough good good players to, um, to stay up. Uh, in the, for this season so as a newly promoted team if they stay up then that'll be a good season for them but I'm get, I think they're going to hang around in that relegation zone but um, just about stay safe so then 16th I've put Stoke now it's, it, this was a tough one really because they are a good team but in the summer they've lost probably their two best players in uh, Shakiri and Bojan and without them I can't see them getting anywhere I mean they've still got a couple players but Shawcross I think he's getting a bit old now he used to be all right but it's still they're just not that type of quality I mean they normally finish around mid-table but I just got a feeling this year that they will uh, struggle a bit and still survive but uh, again in around that relegation zone 
Next, I've put Watford again. Deeney is th still there at the moment, but he, I reckon he will uh, transfer to someone else. I don't know where it is. My team, West Brom, have been looking to get him, but I don't think we will. But there are other teams looking out to get him, which I think he'll go to because, again, Watford seem to get a new manager every season for me, and I just... They're, they're never not that good. They're not well known. Uh, but, yeah, I don't, don't see them getting anywhere this season so 15th place for me is where Watford will finish now moving on to 14th 13th and 12th 14th I've put Leicester obviously two years ago champions we all know it was a one-off they were never going to be able to repeat it again and Vardy was not in form last season at all Mares neither us so they did struggle a bit as their champion season they, those were their two main players so really I think they're going to uh, mid-table uh, again, but if Vardy and Mahrez get on, get into form then fair enough, but I can't see that happening and I think they'll finish in 14th place uh, with their manager as well. Moving on to the 13th is the last promoted team, newly promoted team this season, Newcastle. Rafa, uh, Rafa Benitez still is their manager and I think he's a good manager, uh, whether other people do think so or not. So Newcastle in 13th, they've got a few good players, Matt Ritchie, uh, etc. So they've got enough to stay up and I reckon they'll uh, get a couple big wins this season. But yeah, they'll definitely have enough to finish in mid-table and remain in the Premier League again. 12th, I've put Crystal Palace. Obviously their new manager Frank De Boer has just come in and uh, switched things up a bit. But um, I mean Z Zaha uh, will look if he stays there, which I think he will, I don't think he's uh, up for transfers, but for a transfer, but uh, he is definitely one of their best players, and I just think that they're a mid-table side, really. Uh, they're not, they're not uh, going to go down or be in a relegation battle, they're not going to get into that top half of the table. They're in around mid-table, uh, where the point where I've put them, I think. Uh, but with their new manager, they, they could do something good uh, in a couple of seasons once he gets used to the team, brings in the players that he wants and the staff that he wants. But uh, this season, in his first season, I think he's, they're going to finish 12th. So 11th and 10th now in, uh, to complete the bottom half of the, the, the table. Uh, 11th, I have put Bournemouth. Um, now, I think... Uh, they've got a quick, pretty decent team and obviously they've just signed Jermaine Defoe which is a big signing for them I think from Sunderland. Defoe still even though because of his age he's still to, uh, good enough to play in the Premier League by far. Uh, good quality striker, been around for a long time. He will keep them together and score a lot of goals for them which will keep them uh, in the 11th. Around that mid table mark again just finishing us outside the top half. They've got uh, decent players, they've got Begovic and Nathan Ake from Chelsea as well, which are a couple good uh, additions there. So yeah, Bournemouth in 11th, 11th, and that makes up my bottom half of the table. Now moving on to the top half, to, uh, finishing in 10th, I think my team West Brom, West Brom will finish 10th this season. Now we've signed Jay Rodriguez so far, some Egyptian guy, and then some 17 year old Chinese guy who was sent out on loan, but we're looking uh, it looks like we're going to get a few more players, could be decent. We're looking at getting Phil Jones, Chris Smalling, as I said, maybe Troy Deeney. Uh, we're trying to get Ben Gibson from Middlesbrough, but they're not letting us at the moment. And uh, Musa from Leicester. So there's a few decent players there. If we could bring in two or three of them, I think they will be a good uh, addition to our squad. So yeah, I think I think we're going to do uh, as we usually do, mid table. Not as good as last season. Last season was good up until the end. We had a bad finish, and but we still finished ninth, which we, which I think is a good season for us. So this year, I think we'll finish twelve, twelfth, uh, no tenth. And uh, yeah, we've if we get a few more quality signings, I think we'll. Uh, have a chance. Maybe we could pr push on a bit higher into the ninth and eighth if we have a go on a good run. And so yeah, McCauley getting a bit old now, but yeah, defense needs strengthening a bit, I would say. Uh, and then Jay Rodriguez as well, we've brought in. Uh, I think he's a good player uh, in the England squad a couple of years ago, but we all know he's a bit like Jack Wheelchair. He's a bit injury prone. So if he stays out of injuries, I think he'll be. 
uh, big for us and score a few goals with Rondon up top. So, yeah, uh, I think we'll finish 12th. Why do I keep saying that? I cannot read. Literally, it says 10th there. Why do I keep saying 12th? Uh, I think we'll finish 10th. So, moving into the top nine now, in ninth, I've put Southampton. Um, now, there, I think they're a very decent team. A bit, a bit underrated, maybe. Uh, Fraser Forster is a great quality player, player, goalkeeper, whatever. I think he's a great goalkeeper, and they're good enough to get into a top half finish with the players they have. And yeah, they Southampton are known for producing top quality players. So uh, if if they get a couple to stay, then they'll keep progressing as a team. So I think they're going to finish ninth. Now gets now it's getting to the inter- interesting bit, guys. Uh, eighth place, I've put West Ham. They've made some really, really good signings so far this transfer window. Uh, they've got Chicharito Hernandez, who used to play for Man U, obviously. They've got Marco Arnautovic. That's who I forgot to mention from Stoke. Um, Stoke, he left from Stoke to go to West Ham. I meant him, not Shakiri. I just realised. Uh, so, yeah, Marco Arnautovic from Stoke. Uh, and a couple, they got Joe Hart on loan as well, uh, which is a, another good addition. So there's, they've improved their team massively, I think, and they will be good enough to get an eighth place finish this season. Um, yeah, so they're good all round now. They've fixed a few problems, and Slavin Bilic is still a good manager, I think. So yeah, they're going to finish in eighth for me. Now we're getting to the interesting bit. The top seven, uh, the best t- seven teams in the Premier League, which I think separate them from the rest, really, uh, as was shown last season when there was a big gap between seventh and eighth. So these are the top seven teams. You probably all know who they are, but it's just a place of a case of which order they go in. So in seventh, I've put Everton. Uh, they lost Lukaku to Man U. But they still have a strong team. Barkley looking like leaving as well. But I was never a big fan of him, to be honest. But still, they've got a good team and they'll finish seventh. Uh, now, Arsenal, I think, will finish sixth. Not really any improvement to last season, even though they have brought in Lacazette and a couple other uh, signings. Uh, they did beat Chelsea uh, on penalties in the first ABBA penalties. Uh, last Sunday in the Community Shield, which was a good win for them to start their season, give the fans a bit of encouragement. But uh, I think they'll sh- not struggle, but I just don't think they're that top five. Um, there's, there's the top five teams above them are just uh, a bit better than them, I think, and they will sometimes struggle against the lower placed teams like they did last season. And Wenger's on his way out now. I'm surprised he didn't leave last at the end of last season. So for him to still be here is. A bit surprising, but let's see what they can do. But I think they'll finish sixth. Now now it's into the good bit of the table. We're into the top five, the four Champions League spots and the fifth Europa League spot. In fifth, you'll probably be a bit surprised, but I decided to put Chelsea in fifth only because, I, as Jamie Carragher said the other day, I think that Conte is... I mean, no doubt he's a good manager, but I don't think... I, it's hard to explain, really. Uh, I can't see him lasting. I think he'll manage Chelsea this season, but next season, I don't. I think they'll he'll either they'll either sack him or he'll resign. I don't. I can't see him staying Chelsea manager. Um, they've. It just. It doesn't. They're not a good team together like other teams are. Um, they're they're a bit. There's a lot of uh, arguments going on in training ground and Costa uh, whether he's going to go to China. I don't think he is, but there's just a bit of a hostile atmosphere around everywhere. So I think they'll finish in fifth and miss out on that Champions League spot. Now, top four. Uh, fourth, I have put Liverpool. Uh, Phil Coutinho looked like he's on his way out to Barcelona for a big, big amount of money. Um, so yeah, they've lost him, but they've also brought in some good quality players like Salah, uh, so we've got Saleh, Saleh, Salah and Mane on the wings now. Uh, so they've made, brought in a couple of decent signings which will uh, strengthen their team uh, massively. So I think they'll get into Champions League again this season uh, and finish fourth. But still not good enough to, with those top three. Now third I've put Tottenham. 
I mean, they haven't signed anyone at all, which is not really surprising because that's the type of manager Mauricio Pochettino is. But I, I, to be honest, I don't really like like him that much, and I don't like a couple of their players that much. I mean, they haven't signed anyone; so they're just the same as last season. And I think a couple of the Spurs fans, even though they did well last season, I don't think they'll be very happy that they haven't brought anyone in because Pochettino's under the impression that their team is already good enough, but then so was everyone else's. And you got you got to sign someone, but they haven't signed anyone. So they've still got a very, very young squad uh, at the moment, but they're bringing players up but not signing anyone. So... I think they'll do well again because they've got quite good quality in Deli Ali and Harry Kane, even though they never do well for England. But yeah, they'll finish third and not threaten uh, the top two spots. So if you go, guys would have realised by now, there are two teams left and the two teams are the two Manchester clubs, which I have put in the top two for this season. Now, both made uh, masses of signings. Manchester City have made a lot of good signings. So have Man United also bringing in Lukaku and uh, Landef, something like that, as a centre back. Um, that's why Smalling and Jones look to be on their way out because uh, you've got Landef and Bai playing centre halves. Um, so yeah, there's the top two, the two Man- Manchester clubs. The team I think will finish uh, second is Manchester United. Uh, they've brought in a- Lukaku, which is a good sign in again. But um, I think they'll just miss out to Manchester City. Uh, Pep Guardiola didn't have a very good first season in the Premier League. But I think now he's got used to it. And he's got a team that he likes. Brought in Carl Walker. Carl Walker and uh, players like that. So, um, <clears throat> I need a drink. So, yeah. I think Manchester United will finish second, just losing out to Manchester City, a bit like a few years ago when it used to be uh, the Manchester title race. And obviously with that amazing finish from Aguero to send City to win the title, uh, which was uh, still the best season for me while I've been alive. The most exciting, that is. So yeah, they're my two, they're my predictions for this season. Manchester City, I think, will win this season's Premier League. Manchester United just missing out. And then you heard the rest of the teams uh, in that table. So, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. uh, And I hope you enjoyed and uh, agree with my predictions. If you don't, make sure you do leave a comment down below uh, if you disagree with me and say which which things, which teams you think I got wrong and uh, why. So give me a bit of feedback on that. But other than that, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.